go around in a circle and tag somebody on the head and whoever you say goose on has to chase you around in a circle. And if you get in their spot, they have to go around and tag. This is how this is how you're going to play duck 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 goose. How you play this is when you do a lot of people in a circle. You keep tapping people's head, and then when you say goose, then you gotta run away because the one. If you say goose to that person, they got to tag you, or else you got to go in the middle. That means if someone else got tagged, that means you can sit down. Okay, duck, duck, goose. Take your class, put them in a circle, seated on the floor. Choose one person to be the it, and the it will run around the outside of the circle saying duck, 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 duck. And as soon as they say the word goose, then that student will stand up Chase the person around the circle, trying to tag them. The object of the game is for it to get back and replace the goose in their position. Now, if the it tags goose, and they, then they go into the center of the circle, okay? Because they have been tagged. And they remain there until such time as another student goes into the circle to free them up. In toilet tag, uh, it's a motor movement activity. You select about four students to be your taggers. And the students will skip or gallop around the gym floor. When a tagger tags a student, they are to kneel down on the floor, put their arm out to the side, and stay frozen until such time as another student comes along, flushes the toilet, and frees them up so that they can continue playing in the game. Kickball is one of our favorites. Uh, the children love playing it in, either in the gym or outside at recess. Uh, it is very similar to our American baseball rules. And, yeah. and the object of the game is for the student to kick the ball and safely make it to first base. If the ball gets caught in the air by a student, they are automatically out. And we work it that the team gets three outs, then we would switch and the next team would come in and kick the ball. So you're working on skills of kicking and catching the ball, throwing the ball, and uh, knowing which base to go to. We play the Indy 500, and we buddy up with partners. One partner does two loops around the gym, and one jump ropes. Indy 500 is similar to Formula One. Uh, think of a racetrack and a pit stop, okay? The racetrack is the outside of our gym on the white line, and we have students stationed on the white line. And then in the pit stop, in the uh, inside yellow line, we have students with a jump rope. They work as a partner. The student on the outside line will race around the gym two times, and when they return, they will take a jump rope and jump, and that student will go and run their two laps, and it keeps going on for a couple of minutes. The object of the game is a cardiovascular activity. You want to keep the students moving, running, and jumping rope. Yeah. 